You're watching Street Signs. All right, Steve Herod is a liability attorney, counsel to Florida Governor Christ on this issue. Uh, Steve, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, what's your reaction to the $20 billion fund? Well, Aaron, first of all, let me tell you, I think a lot of people have some relief. At least there's action being taken as opposed to sound bites and words. And, and, uh, and what about the amount? I mean, you're, you're dealing every day with uh, the coast of Florida and the lack of tourists and tar coming up on the beach. Well, the governor's concerned, as, of, as is everyone in the state of Florida and the other coastal states, because the liability simply can't be determined right now. What I like most about the announcement was the fact that it's a non-capped scenario with an upfront commitment that shows good faith. I like the verbiage. I like the attitude, and most of all, I like the taking of responsibility and the fact they're not going to declare dividends. I think it'll be a better day tomorrow for BP on the Hill than it would have otherwise been. Well, Mr. Ure, this is Jim Cramer. When you look at Florida, you look at the panhandle, you look at the Big Bend, and you think of St. Joe, which is just a, you know, one of the largest landowners in the country. Now, St. Joe could suffer irreparable harm, and you've got to represent the interest. The state has to represent the interest of St. Joe, I think. Now, they, if they get wiped out, are we talking about BP paying them two, three billion dollars? I mean, how is this going to work with the large landowners who could be wiped out by this? Jim, I was on your show many years ago, and let me tell you. Uh, it the, the honest answer is it's going to be hard to work because there are damages here that are simply irreparable. I was raised in Florida, and the estuaries, the, the marshlands, the, the, all the things that we love so much about our state, uh, money alone is never going to be able to repay it. So I like the other aspect, which is a restoration, an effort now to not only repair this damage, but the damage left by Rita and Katrina all along the Gulf states. So, the short answer is, I think uh, you're, you're, the, you're the stock man, but I think they've lost $90 billion. This is a way back because their PR campaign thus far has been nothing short of a nightmare. Yeah, you're absolutely right, sir. This is, uh, th th finally we're talking real money. Um, actually, I'm sure there's someone who can make an analysis that this is actually going to help the, uh, the right. Florida economy because of, of the uh, immediate okay. injection into it. Mr. Mr. Yard, let me just ask one question, sure. though, as, as a broader point. Uh, you know, there's some who will roll their eyes to hear a lawyer say, thank goodness there isn't a cap. Uh, can, can you assure just in, in general the American public, the White House, everyone, that we're not going to see uh, all of these sort of, that, that there's not going to be frivolous lawsuits here. And there isn't just going to be, wow, there's a big pile of money, so let's go get it. Can we well, have a, a, a behavior of character on all sides here? Aaron, the, the terrible part about our society is we can't control frivolous lawsuits, and they are a problem in this country. But there are a lot of good Americans that are out there with their generations and livelihood on the line and at stake. So let's hope that the process they've set up with the, the, the Pazar in charge and a panel, should the Pazar decline the claim, uh, giving some due process. But remember what the president said, and it was very, very clear to me, the legal justice system remains intact and a viable access. So we're not talking about an exclusive monolithic uh, creature where you have to either say yes or no. You've got yes, and if you get no, you've got some recourse. But I can only say good faith lawsuits are the ones that make the country great. Bad, bad cases, they're bad cases brought by bad lawyers. So, so you're saying what's going to happen here, and your understanding is you go to this, uh, to Ken Feinberg with your yes or no, right. and if he tells you no, then you can choose to try to take it through the courts. Well, I think that, I think, no, I think that process is separate and distinct. I think there's a separate process that people can initiate litigation. But remember, it's, it's a very fair balance we're trying to strike. Right now, the priorities are we want a viable, responsible party. We want that corporation to remain viable. It's, it's a very large co conglomerate. Mm -hmm. We hope that it remains viable to, ex to accept and, and discharge all the responsibilities. A dead corporation would mean dead claims and dead livelihoods. We don't want that. So the fact that they're not going to declare dividends this year, a very good faith, positive sign. The fact that tomorrow we're going to see immediate payouts, only a hope, but let's hope it's a reality. Steve's right. It's good. It's good. It's good for everybody. I totally agree. It, uh, I noticed that there's a little uh, note that we say, which is the money will revert to BP that isn't spent. Uh, I like that wishful level of thinking. Wow. Sometimes, it's just sometimes a, good things happen, but the, the thing that's being lost in all this, yeah. of course, 11 men lost their lives, and their family yeah. under the present law are bound to pecuniary losses only, which means their loss of companionship society all gone. Well, maybe it will finally point out the, how dangerous these uh, working on rigs are. I did an investigation in the 70s, spent a month down there. Right. Uh, there is really just an amazing amount of chaos on these rigs, and a lot of people have been hurt over multiple years. I think that this was the first right. time we actually got to recognize how hazardous that job is. Well, you know, yeah. of all the people uh, on the planet, you probably appreciate 
uh, the best of things can be screwed up if safe practices are, are, are ignored Absolutely. and bad, reckless. You know, anytime you put profit over safety, bad things happen. Exactly. Here, an enormous, enormously bad thing happened. Let's well, hope now we start going around the right track. This, these drills need to get get back in operation in a safe manner. They all don't right. need to operate at all. Thank you. Steve, you're, thanks very much. Thank we you. we appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And, and Jim, as, as, as we get ready to hand it off to the closing bell, two comments. Obviously, the worst ever uh, loss of life on a rig accident was an American company in British waters, <laughs> right. Occidental Petroleum, with 167 people right. who died right. on, on that rig. Uh, and it's this profit safety isn't going to go away. Not no, cost this was not the deluxe rig. To rent yeah. rig. Transocean happens to be an excellent company, but someone right. gave them direction the not to do the expensive uh, bread. Just a couple of moments. Let's hand it off to the closing bell. Thank